Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahawa Shai, Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahawa Shai, Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahawa Shai, 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 Brakta Yahawa Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakudash, Barakatam to the elders and apostles of Rebbe Mishnah and Rewell, and the Akim doing the work of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh and Sincerity and Truth, Spirit of Nash DC Camp, with another lesson to edify the sincere Akim. Because as you can tell, man, you know, this uh, 2019 is truly the year of the Karagma, you know, because Jake is just. Uh, about to get a wake up call because uh it's no joke man it's gonna get crazy out here you know the lack of faith will cause many to uh to fall or will cause many to fail you know because uh jake is stuck in that mindset of uh of being carnal you know the lack of faith was uh truly evident during the time of Moses leading the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, you could hear them murmuring and complaining and uh, giving the Most High nothing but complaints and complaints and complaints. All right. So when you watch this video, you know, uh, I'm just going to let you know, man, that the folks of this world, man, they don't have a. Uh, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem shall upon them. They're always about, you know, just giving in. You know, even if the heathens they should understand that the word of Yahweh Hashem Shah is solid. You know, it's rather to be on the right side and lose than to, than to, than to be a loser all the way through. You know. So it's always important, man, to stand, stand for righteousness, man, because the folks of this world, man, you know, they don't have faith in the Lord, the Abba, Shema, Shai, and uh, especially to the thoughts of our own people. So when you watch this video, you see how the young girl, man, you know, saying, you know, she's, she's going to go along when everybody is going along with it. You know, the scripture talks about, you know, you shouldn't follow the multitude to, to, uh, to do evil. You know, you shouldn't give up. Just because it's the popular thing, you shouldn't give in, you shouldn't follow. True, you know. So, um, I'll play the video and I'll bring out some precepts. Earlier this week, Michelle Greenstein brought me and brought you, actually, a report on the coming cashless society. And we talked about eye scans, remember, and finger scans and facial scans and how we're likely to see a future where your biometric information is linked to every transaction that you make. And we also showed you. And the issue is that, you know, folks don't understand that they have to make a sacrifice, man. They have to give up all the relevant crap that they've been holding on to all these years, you know. And uh, have faith in the Lord, yeah, by Shema Shai, and I'm talking about uh, the nation of Israel, so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans spread out throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, they hear the gospel, but, you know, they're getting nervous. When they see this uh, prophecy coming true, you know, the prophecy of the mark of the beast, you know, World War Three, martial law, the collapse of the economy, the nervous, you know, the, the old Yabba Shemashai told Jacob, you know, that he shouldn't be afraid, you know, you know, even though it's a womb, I should hope in the Lord Yabba Shemashai for salvation, but Jacob would rather give in and go along with the mark of the beast. Uh, 40 different countries that have already developed some sort of biometric ID grid. But while looking into this, Michelle found a story that she thinks deserves a segment of its own. This one is about microchips, but not just microchips. Microchips being inserted into the bodies of human beings. So Michelle joins us now to tell us about this. Uh, coming cashless society and how that might affect it as well. This is kind of uh, creepy, but I can't wait to hear more about it. So, microchips in human bodies. It's not that, you know, it's coming cashless society. Society, you know, has already been adopting that uh, concept of being cashless, 
you know, so it hasn't been widespread yet, you know, but eventually it will because uh, Mosai has plans and it has to happen. The faith of many is going to be tested. So these are radio frequency identification chips or RFID. Yeah. This is the same exact technology that right now we have in most of our debit and credit cards. We also have a number of states, New York, Vermont, Michigan, that have already adopted an RFID chip program for their driver's licenses. And as more states sign on to this, they, this may become mandatory in the U.S. But let's talk about these chips. And then you see, you know, it says Arkansas has bans mandatory medical shipping of employee. But very soon it's going to be mandatory, you know, because uh, the elites, man, they got all kinds of tricks up their sleeves to deceive the people, just like what they did during 9-11, you know, and they have that document for the project for New American Century, where they talk about the Pearl Harbor type of incident. That's exactly what we're waiting for, you know, this whole call, uh, so-called event that will cause many to be shaken of their their foundation man you know many that have not put their trust in the lord yet by shima shai you know this directly uh links to our people you know that have put their trust in babylon screaming and crying to trump to open back the government you know and then when you tell these folks that they're Israelite, the Bible speaks of, they look at you wrong. They want to fight you for speaking the words of Yahweh, Shema, and Shai. These are the same folks that will make your life difficult in these last days. Like you can see here in your body. Look. With all technology, you have good and bad sides, right? So there's definitely potential for some good if you're differently able, if you're perhaps unable to open a door with... And the Lord Yahweh, Shema, and Shai talks about, you know, using the world but don't abuse it and two totals for our people we abuse it so so much that they think is the next hardest thing you know that they have to get into you know they will have to uh get the mark of the beast you know the rfid chip and they want to market it to people the job of the elect you know one third of our people is not to take it you know you could use the, the earlier versions of it, you know, like your credit cards, your debit cards, your key cards, get access to buildings, but to have that inserted in, under your skin or to go along with the doctrine of the so-called, uh, you know, police state, you know, the most High is not going to be happy about that, you know. So that's why the Lord Yabba Shema Shai expects his servants to be faithful unto that. Without help, then this will allow you to gain access to your home. If you go to the hospital, they will have all your medical records right there. And then, of course, you have the issue of lost pets. Over the past few years, we've seen these heartwarming stories of owners being reunited with their dogs. Um, this flooded the internet. Even Ohio State University said that dogs with chips are 2.5 times more likely to be returned home. So. And then you see the Edomite guy that's inserted the chip into the other guy's hand. He's got the, he's got the, the pentagram on his head. So just let you know, man, the all actors, you know, to deceive the people. It's all part of uh, the Most High's program to let us know that uh, you're going to see a lot of things in these last days. And then when you read further, it's going to show you where you have uh, folks getting uh, fined. <laughs> for not microchipping their pets. We're seeing this kind of technology being rolled out worldwide. In Spain, there are certain clubs where you can just use a microchip to skip the line. You don't have to wait in line. In Sweden, there are train tickets where you can just swipe your little hand and you don't have to have a tangible train ticket. And then, of course, there's this Wisconsin-based company called Three Square Market. It's the first U.S.-based company to implant these microchips into their workers. You could use it to enter the building, to buy food in the company. Let's see what the CEO had to say about this process. Okay. The the vast majority of our employees absolutely love the conveniences that having this chip in their hand really brings. I can log into my computer with this, which I do every day. Uh, I can log into my phone with it. Uh, uh, I can pay for items if I forgot my credit card or my phone. Uh, I can log into work. Uh, this is the actual size of the chip. I don't know if you can see that, but it is the size of a grain of rice, literally. 
So and that's exactly what the Lord Abashimashai, you know, was telling John in the book of Revelation. You know, that uh, write this down because his words are faithful and true. So this is exactly what we're saying. Uh, folks can't deny it, you know. So this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 17, verse 12. says, For fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succours which reason offered. So the rational decisions that people need to make based on the Holy Scriptures are the best things. You know, that, 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 you know, the best memories, the best experience you could ever have in life. But when folks, you know, decide that, uh, you know, they can't uh, go along with the same doctrine of, of Yahweh Hashem Shai, it means they have no faith. You know, they're letting their fears conquer, you know, their, you know, their hope. You know, when you have hope in the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, there's no amount of fear around you that will uh, throw you off your balance. That's why, you know, the scripture talks about, you know, let uh, the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai dwell richly in you. You know, that the fear of the Lord, you know, is, is going to bring you wisdom. You know, you shouldn't fear the world, you know. You should fear the Lord, yeah, but Shema Shai, who's able to deliver you into the hands of your enemies and let you be tormented, you know, in spirit and in body, rather than fear the walls that could uh, destroy the body but can't touch the spirit. You know, so you gotta fear the higher power, which is the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai. All right, so folks just need to understand, man. You can't, uh, you can't run away from this event. It's gonna happen. You know, or the best thing you can do is hope in the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, and this is just for the elect. You know, including uh, one third of our people. So this book of Exodus chapter 23, I'm going to read verses 1 and 2. So it says, And thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. All right, so what the girl's doing, man, you know, when you go through the whole video, just let you know, man, she's not uh, promoting people's, uh, you know, uh, point of view to... to uh, no go along with the RFID microchip based on the Holy Scriptures. You know, it's promoting a, def a defeatist uh, mentality that, oh, well, you know, I give up because everybody around me has been conquered. That's not the way it has to go. Even when uh, the prophet Elijah was having a hard time, you know, when the, the prophets were being smoked left and right, were being chased around, you know, he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord told him, you know, he reserved, you know, thousands and of, of, of servants that had never bowed the knees to Baal, you know. So, it's very important, man. You can't be afraid of, of the events in front of you, man, you know. Even Elisha told her, his servant that, you know, those that are with us are more than they, you know. When the Lord, Yahweh Shemash, opened his eyes, he saw the chariots of, of the angels. All right, so that's why it's important. You can let uh, the, the things of this world weigh heavy on your mind. All right. Verse two says, "Thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil." All right. Neither shalt thou speak in the cause of decline after many to rest judgment. All right. So for her to give up, <coughs> it just means that you know all the work she's done. It's a waste of time, man. You know, so only the elect will benefit from the doctrine, you know, from the prophecy that's taking place. Everybody else will just fall apart, you know. This is the kind of thing that could be really good for humanity, right? We could prevent identity theft. Um, there's microchips and medications where we have wireless capsules yeah, no, that I, senses. I, I, I get it. I mean, right? yeah. I mean, we got, in fact, here. Well, here sure. it says, good for, good for humanity. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the devil, man. You know, the devil speaks with a, uh, with a, you know, forked tongue, you know, double speeches, double talking, all that stuff. The Messiah says, let your yeah be yeah and your nay nay. You know, the prophets will not uh, tell you that uh, 
the RFID chip is a good thing, man. He'll never tell you that. It's going to tell you directly that this is the mark of the beast. You should not insert it onto your skin. You shouldn't believe in the doctrine of the, of the so called, uh, you know, beast. You know, the government structure. They got to be steadfast until the end. The audience, what sure. we have here at RT, like most buildings, we have our own. Security. Wipe cards, yeah, for sure. And I, and I keep ours, you know, it's essentially just a little card, and whenever we walk into certain places, you got to show it, and then the door's Right, and you don't have to be like, I am Rick Sanchez, and I can prove it, because this is my name, my address, my phone well, number. No, you I mean, it, it makes sense. It, it, would, it, would it would be nice if I didn't always have to be grabbing my wallet and finding it, so exactly. I understand what they're doing. But, okay, so that's good, and it creates a certain amount of facility for things. I don't want something in my body, A, and B, I'm uncomfortable with the fact that that somebody could be surveilling me at all times. Right, exactly. There's a huge privacy concern, and this is the type of ramification, political ramifications, that innovate. And this has nothing to do with politics, man. This is a spiritual battle, all right? Spiritual battle is not politics, man. You know, it's either you're with the Lord or you're not, you know, and the Lord is going to smoke whosoever of the nation of Israel that goes along with the doctrine of Esau, whether they believe in the RFID chip or the, or the image of the beast, they all getting smoked. The Mosai is not going to be, you know, showing mercy to traitors. Leaders usually don't consider, of course, governments and corporations can exploit this kind of data and thus exploit you. But right now, this is not mandatory, right? No. Uh, employers cannot mandate that you have this in your body. Uh, in California, there's actually a law that banned the forced uh, implementation of these chips. Just this month, the Arkansas House voted to also ban employers from requiring implants in their employees. But look, with all technology, everything is voluntary until it's not, right? Until yeah, it's required. Exactly. So they shove. That's what they tell you, you know. Just like when they were going to be uh, installing uh, so-called smart meters on people's homes, they're saying, well, uh, you could opt out, you could do this, you could do that, you don't have to get it. All of a sudden, folks have no other choice. You know, so they sneak onto your property, they take off the analog meters, and then they install the, <laughs> the so-called smart meters. <laughs> You know, so that's how uh, messed up it is, man. Folks are getting sick because of all the craziness, you know, that uh, ESOS technology will be pushing, you know, the, the side effects of ESOS technology, you know, folks having headaches and, and running nose, you know, stomachs aching. All right, so it's very important. So this is book of uh, Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 23 says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. All right, so the doctrine of Yahweh Shema of Shai, you know, is faithful and true. You should hold on to it until the end, man. You don't have to be wishy-washy. You know, you got to be steadfast until the end. And then it says, for he is faithful that promised, all right? Because it said, he that endureth unto the end shall be saved. You know, and uh, the man should totally contend for his crown you know his crown of life you know you can't as an as a, as a israelite man as an israelite woman you have no business accepting the mark of the beast you know if you have faith you will stay with the lord there by shimashon to the end regardless of whatever sufferings you're going to experience you know, violence whatever ridicule you have to stick with what the lord there by shimashon has said but those that give up, those are the ones that, you know, they, they weren't meant, you know, they weren't uh, steadfast, all right? So folks got to understand, man, the Lord Yabashim Asha is not playing around. In the time of judgment, folks need to tighten up, all right? So this is the book of James chapter 1, verse 12. It says, Blessed is that is the man that endureth temptation, all right? So this is the time of temptation we're living in, man, you know, it's the marketing in it has uh, something being uh, uh, attractive, you know, being profitable, you know, for you. The help costs, uh, you know, reduce the cost, make your business more uh, more streamlined and all that stuff. That's what they want to, you know, <laughs> make you believe. So it says, Blessed is the man that enjoys temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. 
which the Lord Yahweh Shai have promised to them that love him. And who did they promise it to? To the elect, you know, to the one third nation of Israel. You know, salvation, that's exactly what we're looking forward to, man. That's that crown of life, you know, eternal life. That's exactly what we need, man. You know, so but people don't understand that this is real, this is a battle, you know, this is a battle. And uh, you got to fight, man. You got to go down swinging hard, man. You know, you got to be faithful unto death. All right, because Yabba Shimashai says, you know, strive for the truth unto death and it shall fight for you. You know, even if you, you die resisting the enemy's doctrines, the enemy's attempt to get microchips, you know, you have your head uh, beheaded, you have your head chopped off, you know, uh, psh, hey, most likely it's still going to raise you up, you know. So it's not a, it's not a big surprise, man. Because a lot of the Shai has so many, so many things he can do, man, to show that he is the Lord. Death is nothing to the Lord, you know. So it's very important, you know, folks stay humble unto the end, man. All right. So it says, "Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Most High, for the Most High cannot be tempted with evil." Neither tempted he any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. All right, so folks that are you know used to uh, being a uh, gluttonous, you know they want uh, to have a trendy lifestyle, want to have whatever is in vogue. Those are the kind of people that are gravitating towards this type of technology and have it inserted into their skin. In our faces, there's a lot of mainstream coverage about this sort of trend. How people look talk, how cool, right? Exactly, and some people are scared of it. People talk about it. Most people hate it as they do now because it's very new, but then you have some people saying, oh, well, it's not so bad. And then, of course, you have the issue of economically forcing people, like if you want to get a certain job or eat at a certain restaurant, you're going to choose to put this in your body. And then we have the case of Jane Goodyear. She was actually fined for failing to microchip her dog. Take a look at this headline. So it's only a so that lets you know, man, people are being harassed and, uh, you know, shamed for not microchipping the animal, man. So just imagine, just imagine the madness, you know. So folks can't own pets anymore, you know, without uh, microchipping them. You know, folks can have a farm without uh, microchipping their, their livestock. So that's how messed up, you know, is so society has become. It's going to come in gradually. You know, a lot of folks don't get it. But over the time they open up, they open their eyes, it's too late, you know. So the Lord there by Shema will have to destroy them. All right. So our people, you know, that need to wake up, we wake up. You know, that's going to be a beautiful thing matter of time before these types of policies make their way to microchipping your own self. So what we're seeing is increased surveillance all in the name of convenience, as usual. Right now, we can unlock our phones with our faces, right? Um, no one's putting a gun to your head and saying you have to get this smartphone, but you choose to. And the idea is that, look, soon everyone will have this technology, so I might as well get And that's, uh, that's funny. And when it's so hard for you to get a regular flip phone, an old uh, analog phone, I mean, what are you going to do? You get to have contact with people when the manufacturer says, you know, they're no longer they're no longer producing analog phones. You know, there are folks need to get digital phones. You know, the phone company tells you, well, we no longer support landlines. Now you got to go out with the voice over IP. You know, it's internet phones. Now we have digital phones. You know, that's how they force people. They force people into a corner to accept it. So just imagine, man, you know, what are folks going to do? You know, they say, well, uh, we do not have machines to process your cash payments anymore, but you got to go along with this uh, RFID chip. It's mandatory. If you do not comply, you're going to be fined. You could be arrested and all that stuff. Yada, yada, yada. And there are folks like, damn, man, I can't afford to have a criminal record. You know, I can't afford to lose my children. No things like that, man, you know, so 
those that have faith in the Lord, they have a shame and a shame. They just say, you know what? They're going to stand faithfully unto the end, man. You know, because it's going to be a diabolical experience for a lot of Jakes. Early, I might as well jump on this bandwagon. And it really seems like we're looking at a future where... Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> the elect would not jump on that bandwagon, you know. That's why, you know, scriptures in Exodus 21, 23, chapter 1 and 2 talks about, you know, hey, don't uh, go along with the multitude to do evil, man. You know, you shouldn't uh, lose faith in the Lord, the Abash, you know, shy. The Most High is not looking forward to uh, unrighteousness among his elect. He's looking forward for, for them to be an example. The shining light. Everything is going to be networked, tracked, database. Right now we have credit scores. We might be seeing social credit scores. Do you ever see the possibility in your life? And I know you're kind of like a millennial, so I... I am a millennial, you. technically. Oh, boy, yeah. look at that. You are a millennial. <laughs> and with pride, she says it. All right. Do I you ever see born. a possibility where you would allow somebody to put something like that in your body? Right now, no, but I cannot imagine that I can predict this kind of thing. Who knows, if everyone around me had it, if I lived, if I lived 20 years from now, maybe everyone had it and I wouldn't even think twice. Yeah, there was a time when we said... That's messed up, you know. Just because everyone is doing doesn't mean you have to do it. And that's the madness that Jake has to go along with, you know. You know, and then parents have to deal with all the craziness in this uh, society. Uh, if you do not micro if you do not uh, vaccinate your child, you're liable. You know, to be you know to be taken to jail and prosecuted. You know, that's how Esau is, man. You know, that'll force people to comply, to obey. You know, that's how it is, man. You know, that's why the Lord has to destroy Esau's kingdom. We would never have cell phones on us at all times, or we would never always have to use credit cards. Right. And we, we just need and, to ask. And, it, and it's become the new normal, right? It's the reality Absolutely. of our times. We just need to ask who's behind this push, and we'll definitely follow up about that. Millennial. And that's you know, when they talk about, you know, uh, a so-called solution in search of a problem. That's what Esau society is all about, man. They tell you they want to solve uh, this problem. All they do is keep on making your life difficult. You know, so that's that's beautiful that the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai is on his way to redeem his people, the Israelites from the four corners of the earth, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, <laughs> Michelle Greenstein joining us tonight with, that, with the Millennial Report. <laughs> and that's uh, what Jake has to deal with, man. You know, Jake has to understand that uh, this world has nothing good for you, man. You know, and Yahweh Shai says in Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that enjoys unto the end shall be saved. All right? So just imagine, you know, what you're going to deal with in these last days, man, because of uh, the doctrine of Yahweh Shai that you believe in is being uh, targeted as hate speech. You know, you're branded as a terrorist. You know, they tell you, well, uh, you're no longer welcome in this establishment. You know, we don't want anything to do with you. You know, uh, have a wonderful journey. We wish you the best on your endeavors. That's what's going to happen to a lot of Akim and the Lord, you know. And the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, will prove that he never forsakes his servants. All right? And then verse 23 says, But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another city. All right? doesn't say you should give up. It doesn't say you should quit and go along with the agenda of receiving the microchip. It says, hey, just move on, all right? Move to another city where you have less uh, less hassle. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over to the city of Israel to the Son of Man be, all right? So just imagine, you know, you got to keep moving around, moving around, you know, you got to be... You're going to be around Jake anyway, so what are you going to do? Very under very rare circumstances, would you be among the heathen, you know, and then you have to go along with my trip? That's not going to happen because the Messiah will always have to keep Jake separate from, from others, all right? So I say, Ka Halal Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai Ba'ashem Akwakadash to the Azra Apostle of Great Mishnah of Rogel, double nose unto you. And the Akim didn't walk away, but she mentioned sincerity and truth. Uh, stay fast, stay humble, 
uh, don't let uh, the cares of this world, man, shake your faith, man. Because, you know, hey, the lack of faith will cause many in the nation of Israel to fail. Shalom.